Just doing this video for someone who asked how it works on the air conditioning system. So basically when you turn the aircon on, aircon on, that sends a signal down to your compressor to turn on to set up, start the system up. Best settings to have is on recycle, obviously low temperature and about two thirds on your fan so it gets so the air goes through the evaporator slower. But anyway, that's how you turn it on obviously. Your compressor down there. There's a clutch on it that should engage. I've got another video on clutches, so have a look at that. The clutch engages and starts turning, pumping gas around the system. If it doesn't turn on, either the compressor had it, There's also a relay here and one of these fuses, so check them as well if your compressor don't kick in. So it pumps gas from the low side into the high side, it goes through the condenser, the condenser cools the heated liquid from the uh, heated vapour from the pump and turns it into a liquid. It then goes through a receiver drawer, you can't see the receiver drawer on this because it's hidden. Obviously that's your fan as well for cooling the vapour into a liquid through the condenser. That liquid then comes up through the high pressure pipe. I think this one's a high pressure pipe. There's a pressure switch there, if that fails it will switch the system off as well. Obviously as well as having no gas in it, that will switch the system off. That Gas comes all the way up, goes through here, through the firewall into your, your evaporator inside. But first of all, it travels through a thermal, thermal expansion valve that changes it from liquid to a gas. And that's how the refrigeration process works. That expansion of the gas cools and then it absorbs heat from uh, out of the air. So that's it really, that's how they work. I can't think of anything else, there's your top up ports. Obviously the system being sealed is really important. Compressor's down there. It's got a bit of electrical stuff on it. Condenser. Condenser fan for keep for cooling it. Obviously the electrical side of it. The thermal expansion valve and the evaporator. And that's all there is to it.